Good afternoon. This is Cheryl Mora James from Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm an immigration and civil rights attorney. I'm also the co-lead president of the National Tequila Party. I'm here today on, on the request of Didi Garcia Blaze, our co-president and founders of the National Tequila Party. I want to say welcome to Tequila Party members, our dreamers, our mixed status families, and our allies. Today I'm going to be talking about the original proposed DREAM Act sponsored by Senator Orrin Hatch from the great state of Utah. On October, 23, on October 23, 2003, the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee by a 16 to 3 margin approved an amended version of the Development, Relief, and Education for Alien Minors also known as the DREAM Act, Senate Bill 1545. Keep in mind, seven of the ten committee Republicans and all of the Democrat committee members voted in favor of this bill. The DREAM Act was sponsored by Senator Orrin Hatch and then joined with Richard Durbin from uh, Illinois. It had more than 47 co-sponsors, which addressed the tragedy of the young people who grew up in the United States, graduated from our high schools, but whose future was ended by the current immigration laws. The DREAM Act set up a two-stage process to apply for legal status for these students. The students who have grown up in the United States, graduated from high school here, and can demonstrate that they had good moral character, would initially qualify for conditional lawful permanent resident status. And that would last for six years. During the conditional period, they would have to go to college or join the military, and uh, then they would be eligible for the regular lawful permanent resident status after those six years. Now, the U.S. students would not be qualified for this relief if they had committed crimes or were a security risk. Now, the condi conditional permanent resident status in the bill would be similar to the lawful permanent resident status except that it would only be awarded for six years. Time spent by the young students or military members in the conditional permanent resident status would count towards resident requirements for U.S. naturalization. In addition, the uh, following key features of the 2003 DREAM Act was in-state tuition for the DREAMers, restore the state option, and a pathway to legal residency. Now, we have in 2012 failed, failed miserably to address this tragedy. We have not only failed the dreamers, but we have failed our country. Because if those dreamers would have been welcomed into our U.S. community, as full citizens that would have brought to this economy more than one trillion dollars a year. However, unfortunately, our great leader, Senator Hatch, who had been the pioneer, one of the great pioneers in this area, has given up. The other Republicans that supported us have disappeared. Thank God we have Senator Durbin, 
who with wisdom and foresight is keeping up the good fight to pass the DREAM Act. I say especially to our dreamers, do not be fooled by the smoke and mirrors that the proposed Rubio DREAM Act offers you. It offers you legal limbo, not full citizen status for yourselves or your other family members that do not have legal status at this time. I say to you, remember who has declared war on us as Latinos, as Latinas, as dreamers, as mixed status families. Who has forsaken us? Now I put this challenge to you. We know you can't vote, but you have U.S. citizen friends that can. So you encourage your U.S. citizen friends and allies to register to vote and come November, the year of the Hispanic, the Latina, the Latino, will make the difference in the November presidential election. And for those who tell us to self-deportate, unless they are Native American, they have no right to request that. So what I say to you, the challenge, register to vote. If you can't register to vote, then get your friends to register to vote. Get your family members that are U.S. citizens to register to vote. And then go and help them vote come November. I want to thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me via Skype at S.A. Mora James or message me at Tequila Party on Facebook. Thank you.